स्टूडेंट सो हेयर वी आर विद क्वेश्चन थर्ड ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज 1.4 ऑफ द चैप्टर रियल नंबर्स सो द क्वेश्चन थर्ड इज द फॉलोइंग रियल नंबर्स हैव डेसिमल एक्सपेंशंस एज गिवन बिलो इन ईच केस डिसाइड व्हेदर दे आर रैशनल और नॉट इफ दे आर रैशनल एंड ऑफ द फॉर्म p by q व्हाट कैन यू से अबाउट द प्राइम फैक्टर्स ऑफ q एंड द नंबर्स डेसिमल एक्सपेंशंस हैव बीन प्रोवाइडेड इन पार्ट 1 2 एंड 3 so as in the question it's been asked to decide whether they are rational or not let us first memorize what the rational numbers are so according to the definition of the rational numbers rational numbers are the numbers which can be expressed in the form p by q where p and q belongs to some integer and hcf of p and q is equals to 1 means they are co prime numbers so these are the necessary condition for the number to be a rational number that is the number which can be expressed in the form p by q where p and q belong to some integer and their hcf be equal to 1 that is they are the co prime numbers then then only that number will be called a rational number and if a number which cannot be expressed in the form p by q will be called irrational numbers and what's been asked in a question that if number appears to be a rational number we have to say about the prime factors of q that is we should uh, comment on the prime factors of the denominator now let us come to the first part here the number decimal expansion is 43.12345 7 and 9 and as we can see the decimal point is left by nine digits that is moving left to uh, by nine digit the decimal appears in the decimal expansion of the number and the nine digits are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so here is the decimal expansion uh, decimal point so in order to remove this decimal point that is in order to move this decimal points towards right by nine places what we have to do is to multiply the number by 10 raised power 9 so if we multiply this number with the 10 raised power 9 we also have to divide the a uh, number with the 10 raised power 9 so that there is no overall effect on the decimal expansion and our aim of removing the decimal point has also been fulfilled what we want to say is if we want to remove the decimal point that is if we want to write the number 4 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 what we need to do is to multiply this with 10 to the power 9 then only it, uh, this decimal point can be removed which appears over here and in order to neutralize the effect of the 10 to the power 9 number in the numerator we also have to divide the 10 to the power 9 that is with the same number So multiplying this number with 10 to the power 9, this will automatically remove the decimal point by three digits. So the number will be 4312345678989, and the denominator will be as it is, that is 10 to the power 9. And the 10 to the power 9 can also be written as 2 into 5, right? As 10 is equals to 2 into 5, which means that this will be 4312345678989 divided by 2 raised power 9 into 5 raised power 9. So as we are able to achieve the form p by q. Where p and q are the integers, so this number is a rational number definitely. And if the number is a rational, we have to say about the prime factors of q. 
and clearly the prime factors of q that is the prime factors of the denominator are 2 raised power 9 into 5 raised power 9 which means we have solved both the parts of question third part first now coming to the second part here the number decimal expansion is point one two zero one two double zero one two triple zero one two zero 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 and dot 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 now if we start observing this pattern from the digit one two we will see first there appears after the decimal point the digits one two then it is zero one two then it's double zero one two then it's triple zero one two and then it's four zero and definitely the point here the dot points represent that the, it will keep on going until the universe we can say ends this is the power of the dot 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 so definitely there will be four zeros one two and after that five zeros one two and after that exactly six zeros one two means there is no definite number of digits or we can say there is no definite pattern of digits which is repeating again and again after the decimal point as here it is one two then it's zero one two then it's double zero one two there is no definite pattern of digit which is repeating so if such type of number appear then we cannot write this number in the form p by q that is, it is not possible to represent such decimal expansion in the form p by q, which is a necessary condition for the number to be rational. So, this number will be irrational number. Got it? As we cannot represent it in the form p by q, which is one of the necessary condition for the number to be a rational number. Now, coming to the third part here, the decimal expansion of the number is 43.1234567789 with the bar over these digits. Now what the bar, bar this represent is that this pattern of digit is being repeated again and again and again. This is what the decimal points in the second part represent that this keeps on going again and again and again and same does the bar signify that is here bar signifies that this pattern of digits that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 will keep on repeating again and again and again there is no end for this repetition to stop which means that we can represent this number decimal expansion as 43.1234567789 and again 1234567789 again it will repeat that is 1234567789 again one two three four five six seven eight and nine and so on means there is no end when the repetition of the one two three four five six seven eight nine will end it will keep on repeating and repeating and repeating so this is what the decimal expansion of this number says and whenever such number appears where the, there is a bar over the definite pattern of digits it means that that number decimal expansion is non-terminating repeating decimal expansion and the numbers which have non-terminating -repeat, non repeating decimal expansion can easily be expressed in the form p by q and as we have done in question first of this exercise that a number have a non-repeating decimal expansion that is non-terminating decimal expansion says that the denominator has a factor 2 raised power n into 5 raised to power n in addition with some other factors. 
that is the factors 2 and 5 will definitely be present in the denominator along with some other factor as well. Because if only the factor 2 and 5 will be present in the denominator that will result into its decimal expansion to be the terminating one. But as we can see clearly that it, this number has its decimal expansion non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. This means that there is some other factor also present along with the factors 2 and 5. So we cannot say which factor will be present but we know there will be the definitely present some other factors. So we can only say for this question is it is a rational number but we cannot clearly say what other factors will be present along with the factor 2 raised power n into 5 raised power n where n and m are some positive numbers. So this was all about this question third of the exercise 1.4. I hope this question is clear to all of you.